The Swimlane Timeline is an integrated Visio, Project, Office, and SharePoint solution. It allows you to quickly create project, portfolio, and roadmap reports, and includes an interactive environment that allows you to visually work with project data, Excel, spreadsheets, and if you have the professional version, SharePoint task list data, all in real time. Let me show you what I mean. I'll start up the swim lane timeline from the desktop shortcut. And in this case, I'm going to uh, select Add Files, and we're going to point it to a Excel spreadsheet. And when it's uh, reading in all of the fields, it says, how do you want to group these? Uh, I could select no grouping or no swim lanes, but let's go ahead and group by owner. And I'll see this portfolio of data grouped by owner. And once that's uh, generated, Notice I can see which ones are associated with Scott, which one with Ava Koritz, etc. Uh, I have the ability to use the swim lane timeline menus that are added to Visio to interactively uh, change my diagram visually. Let me show you. Uh, so let's say I have currently a group by owner. Let's say I wanted a group by uh, project status. Boom! I'm now grouped. Uh, now group them by project status. So I'm looking at which ones are on track, complete, late, late to the predecessor, uh, or maybe I want to group them by project type. Um, so you have the ability to group by any field that's in your uh, in your data. Now maybe I would like to see uh, a, a filter on these by uh, just the ones you know that have a certain status. I can use the ST Manage filter, define new, and insert a row here and say, okay, based on the project status, if it's equal to uh, late, I want to take a look at it, and also if it's uh, or uh, if it's equal to uh, uh, late to the predecessor, we also want to take a look at it. And now I've done a complex filter that you know basically or compound filter that allows me to focus in on those um, and go back and say no let's you know uh, let's not apply this custom filter let's go to no filtering again and look at all of them uh, you'll notice here that you can sort tasks you can show levels of depth you can change the height of tasks and maybe if I wanted to make this a little bit shorter that the actual task heights of these I can change those those heights uh, have the ability to sort my swim lanes if I wanted to sort them by title, etc. You know, I have the ability to have expanded layout uh, as opposed to a compressed layout. Um, typically, we use a relational layout, which is uh, child tasks are always beneath the parent task. I can enforce a page width, like 11 inches, for example, um, change my task uh, row height. Uh, you know, increase them for uh, a little bit uh, between the the distance between the the tasks. Um, the timeline rows I can change which ones I'm showing at the top. Uh, date markers. Uh, right now I'm seeing just the start date. Maybe I might want to add a finish date to these. Uh, we'll go grab finish and we'll put that marker on top. You can actually change the colors. Uh, etc. The styles of the markers. Um, and we'll say OK here. And now I'll have uh, finish markers on top of these. Uh, you, so you have a lot of flexibility. But you can also create uh, styles uh, that allow you to, in this case, I'll apply with one single click. Uh, maybe this is a report style that, that I have that I you know want to uh, always create. Um, in this case I'm conditionally formatting the tasks and the milestones. Notice uh, the, the milestone shapes. Uh, so you have a lot of flexibility. Um, I could change color palettes maybe if I wanted to use a, a different color scheme. Uh, maybe go to a light gray. It's lots of flexibility. Maybe I wanted to change my fonts. Uh, go to a Georgia font style. Uh, go to a trebuchet font style. You can create your own custom fonts. Um, you have a lot of flexibility here. 
Um, in this case, uh, we're, we're also actually showing summary fields so I can see my top five, what I budgeted, which my actuals are, and down below, uh, you know, the status uh, uh, by uh, time interval. Now maybe I might want to change the colorization and look at these colorized by what's critical, you know, same uh, exact data, but I'm just uh, now colorizing them and changing the milestone shapes um, using a different conditional format view. So you have the ability to create these custom views. Uh, once you have them, um, they're always there. Uh, same with any of the other custom features. Uh, there's a lot uh, to the swim lane timeline. Um, all of these things that I've shown you are also completely available with project. In fact, uh, I'll quickly uh, go out and we'll grab a project uh, schedule here. I'll just apply a style real fast. Um, so we'll go and grab, uh, in this case, a project file. And notice we have the add active project. So if you have an existing project already open, uh, it uh, will find that project or again multiple projects it doesn't have to be just one file source file uh, you can mix and match uh, source that you use and so this is my project uh, by default I'm going uh, showing these in swim lanes by work breakdown structure um, I have a style set up here just to try and wrap this up as quickly as possible uh, so this is my project report notice I'm using fiscal years now with uh, months in the middle, quarters on the bottom, um, you know, and I have colorized them by an investment objective field that's coming from a project custom task text field, as well as uh, outline them by planning status, and uh, milestone shapes uh, are different depending upon uh, whether they're critical, corporate, or technology outcome. So. As you can see, there's lots of uh, features that allow you to interact visually, but you also have the ability to create one-click, uh, real fast, you know, reports, um, and get your job done and interact with, uh, you know, products like PowerPoint, for example. Um, so I'm going to change the uh, task uh, distance, the distance between the tasks here and uh, get a more 4 by 3 aspect ratio and we'll push that out to PowerPoint real fast and uh, the click of a button I get a PowerPoint slide uh, that is sh showing the same exact report so nice tight integration with uh, Visio project and Office and SharePoint if you have the uh, uh, professional version. So thank you very much for your time today and I look forward to uh, showing off a few of the, the many other features that are in the swim lane timeline.